flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to do it. We've tried to end this killing game before, but... That's what I thought. I knew Kokichi would take advantage of my naivete, simply because it's him. <laughs> Maki totally gets me! That's why. I needed to settle it myself. I took the poison arrows and the crossbow, and broke into the hangar with an exosol. But when I entered the hangar, I saw something I never expected. Kaito and Kokichi were fighting each other. Kokichi was shot in the arm with a crossbow arrow, probably by Kaito when he fought back. Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosol, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I jumped out of the Exosol before he could and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. I wanted Kokichi to confess his true intentions before he died. And find out why he was always lying and trying to confuse us. the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. That way, he could reveal himself as the surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Kokichi said it was a hint, but was it necessary for him to go out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. He must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Remnants of despair? What's that? I don't understand anything you're saying. Killing game, but it should have ended. You already know it's meaningless. You might not even mastermind. Do you kill you much? Shut up, you asshole! I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow. Kokichi? Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. So you didn't have the antidote with you at the time? I used Strike 9 poison to torture Kokichi for info, but I planned to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean! The 
that was my first mistake. Because of that. You what? I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing, but because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But... Kokichi stole it from him. Sorry... But I... can't die here. Since I'm... the mastermind of this killing game. Wait! There's only one antidote! Oh... You don't have to worry about Kaito. He fulfilled his dream, right? He already went to space. Damn it! S stop! Whew, I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Or maybe not. Because now another class trial is going to start. Class trial? You'll be the Blacken for this case, you know. The Blacken who killed Kaito. I... I killed... Shut it! Screw the class trials. Like hell am I gonna let you have your way? Kaito! Why did you protect Kokichi? If you didn't help him, then... I couldn't help it. Even if it's Kokichi, I, I can't... have you kill anybody. What? Aww, Kaito wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse, huh? Maki is gonna become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me! So don't you worry, maki -ro. I'm not gonna die that easily. Just leave it to me. I'll put an end to this killing game. <laughs> You're still full of energy, even like that. You really are not boring. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So, show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just... Hurry up and run. Run. And live. You gotta live. But I refused to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. In the end, I couldn't. So that's where the marks on the control panel came from, huh? That, I returned to the bathroom window once more, but I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the Blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial. In exchange for all of your lives. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, still helped Maki cover up her crime? Was that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you make fun of him! You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! Ooh, 
monkey is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys gonna vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. We don't have the whole truth. This case isn't over. Huh? Thank you for telling us everything, Maki. Thanks to you, I finally understand. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. Hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with the testimony you've given us. Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar. But that doesn't make sense, because there's an alarm system on the shutter. Oh yeah! The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. I was too focused to notice at the time. But now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. The security there isn't that sloppy. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. And why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told you, this isn't over. There's still a hidden truth to find. the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100%. Maybe it's broken. <laughs> or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Did you really try to break the control panel? I'm not going to tell any more lies. Shutter. The alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. Maybe it was just broken. it was turned. <laughs> 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 There's a way to disable the alarm system. An electro bomb would take it down. But Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this night. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? I have no reason to shut off the alarm, right? I'd be at a disadvantage if I did that. I guess so. I can't come up with a reason why Kokichi would want to touch the alarm. Got it! 
Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? That's it! It was to deactivate the safety function on the press. Deactivate the safety function? The Electra Bomb wouldn't have just taken down the alarm system. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. That's true, but why would he do that? There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. I'm right. It means that we've been thinking about this all wrong. All wrong? of death. What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have? If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. The one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. I see. Very impressive. The hydraulic press could have been the cause of death. But that's just a possibility. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it. No matter what. No matter what? That's not true! We can probably solve this mystery too! Right, Shuichi? I hate to admit it, but Kokichi is right. We have no way to prove the cause of death. What did they say? You can't check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. But I know, because I was actually in there. So that's what you were trying to do. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. <laughs> do you finally get it? Yep, that was my plan. The gimmick of this murder case isn't the unknown victim but rather the unknowable culprit! No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition! Intuition? <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So... Who is the culprit? Maki or me? The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off! It's voting time! Hey! That's my line! 
who decides when it's voting time. Oh, come on. No one's gonna figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? Because you know who the culprit is, don't you? Just like you always do. Huh? Uh, yes! Uh, of course! Huh? What kind of a reaction is that? The, the culprit, you say? Uh, yeah, uh, yes! Uh, of course I know! Hmm? Why do you seem so flustered? Flustered? Me? <laughs> what are you talking about? Monokuma, do you not know who the culprit is either? Huh? Oh, what do you mean I don't know? Uh, what don't I know, huh? You don't know, do you? Yes, that's it! So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. Consider how many elements of this case would be cleared up. Prior to this case, Monokuma always knew the specific details of each crime, correct? That must mean that he was using some way of monitoring us. Perhaps there are hidden cameras strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain, but he must be keeping watch somehow. Kokichi probably used the electro bomb to scramble whatever that was. The electro bomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! Before we determine that for sure, I want to make one thing clear. If the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma, the exorcist. Exosols weren't protecting Monokuma. They were. That's it! They were watching Monokuma. Watching you? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an exercise, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. So Monokuma must have been talking about Maki. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. Right. Um, so to summarize this discussion, Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the exosols to watch Monokuma, thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is. No, Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling Monokuma? 
Kokichi might not be the mastermind. What? Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... All me, baby. doesn't necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. Um, well, I guess. But is that really possible? Well, Monokuma? I can't answer that without causing problems, because I gotta run this trial fair and sweat! Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us! Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward. Aren't you normally the forward one? I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. And what is that truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he's not the mastermind. What? Is that really true? Kokichi was just messing with you. I never once said he was the mastermind. And it was all Kokichi's lie? Yeah, that is what that would mean. With the key from the last motive, he was the first to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. <laughs> His deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. But what about the exit doll? If Kokichi wasn't the mastermind, how'd he control them so easily? He just used Mew's remote control, right? So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know? Mew not only invented the Electro Bomb and the Electro Hammer, she also made a remote control that can hijack any electronic device. Kokichi just slapped a receiver on each of the Exosols and took them for a spin. Hey, isn't it a bit unfair to tell them all that? Fairness has nothing to do with it. I offered up that info purely out of spite. Spite towards you trying to usurp the Mastermind's role and take over the game. Well, whatever. It's way more interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the Mastermind. Are we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? <laughs> now you're gonna be all quiet? This is so frustrating! But if he's not the mastermind, who is? Why are you so certain there's even a mastermind to begin with? What do you mean? Why, that's on a need-to-know basis, and you don't need to know! But I wanna know! Anyway, this conversation has flown off the rails. Let's get things back on track. 
This first trial is to figure out who the culprit is, not the mastermind. So, yeah, get to talking. I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit. But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the results? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision-making to Monokuma. But you gotta run the class trial, too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial from here on out. So, let's resume this class trial. Monokuma, you gotta use your brain, too. This will be the final class trial! Me versus Monokuma! You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I can But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind. True. And that's how I'll win! That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma! I can deceive Monokuma till the very end! Then I'll be the winner! You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good at winning. You really are a remnant of despair. Your way of thinking is just chaotic. Eh, whatevs. Let's just get this started. If the students or Monokuma don't know who the culprit is, then I'm the winner! Don't underestimate me, or Shuichi and the others, for that matter. <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game. But these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. If you think they're gonna make this easy for you, you better think again. Whose side are you taking here? Side? Isn't it obvious? Monokuma joins your party. <laughs> Who invited you? Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. wrong this is it let's discuss the video of Kaito being crushed by the hydraulic press Kokichi said that he filmed that video to prove he was not the victim but we know that Kokichi was trying to mislead Monokuma so what about the video? It's pretty strange to present evidence that condemns you after all. Then what kind of mistake was Kokichi trying to get me to make? Maybe he crushed Kaito with a hydraulic press so the cause of death would be unknown? But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true! I guess you're starting to fit in after all. 
you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Huh? Really? There must be a reason you went out of your way to show us the body being crushed. No reason, really. That's just my twisted personality. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. That might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Switched? Then it was some other dead body that got crushed by the hydraulic press? There should be plenty to choose from if you reuse the body of a former victim. If there was no then we could guess the victim was Switch. <laughs> but too bad! Switching the victims was impossible! The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. The camera doesn't have any editing functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? Damn it! Me and my big mouth! Which means switching out the victim would not be possible. Also, if the victim was switched, then that would mean Kaito is still alive. We already discussed this so many times. The chance of that happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. Hey, Shuichi. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you confirm whether or not the victim switched places? Kaito is... alive or not? I don't like the thought that I killed Kaito. I don't... want that. Okay then. Let's talk about the possibility that Maki will mention. Kimiko, if you call her that again... Yes, please. Oh, uh, okay. Then let's all talk it over together. Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Jeez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victims were switched, then that would mean the footage was altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switched places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. The Peachy made it. Hundred percent suspicious.
Press stop for a bit. second because when Kibo and I first investigated that hydraulic press yes that's right the hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping but in the video the four stop button. An electro bomb went off in the hangar, which would have interfered with the safety function. There'd be no way to stop the hydraulic press unless someone used the four stop button. When you say someone, you mean Kokichi, right? He was the only one there. Question of how the body. 
bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. That would have clearly been caught on camera. Oh, I see. It wasn't just the press that stopped. something else at the same time you stop the hydraulic press. Stop the video camera at the same time as the hydraulic press. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press. After the body was swapped, the press and the camera were started simultaneously. So it just looks like the press stopped for a moment. for the height. When the press was stopped, you couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a hard position so we would produce that angle. Just the camera's height. Did they get that from the warehouse too? Jeez, that place is like a 4D pocket. You don't get to make that reference. Then, that logic is correct, right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is... Or he was crushed by the press. He was swapped with a different body! So Kaito's still alive! Well, wait just a minute. What? 
But I just summed it up so nicely. Himiko, the different body you mentioned, what are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Okichi's the mastermind, so he... Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Well, Monokuma, do the rules allow for a body to be reused? Very well, I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body. That is impossible! All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Thrown away? The other bodies are... gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Shuichi, who did Kaido switch places with? Maki, I think I missed something very important here. Something important? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped. Which means... We 
working together. Huh? Working together? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press, while the victim lay inside. They switched places while the press and the camera were stopped. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate beforehand. Cooperated? Is that even possible? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even my Kuma would be tricked. Jeez, this culprit's a real jerk. So, have you realized who done it yet? The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaika, which means... Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera at first. If the two of them switched while the press was stopped, Culprit who started the hydraulic press again and crushed Kokichi must be Kaito. So, the person inside the Exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? So the culprit for this case is... Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion that Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. There's just no way that Kaito can still be alive. Because I'm the culprit. You? But didn't you say- I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito! Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But... The truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. I don't understand.
There was only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is... It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I... killed Kaito. There is absolutely no doubt. That's... the truth. Maki, you don't know for certain that Kokichi drank the antidote. What? You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did it. So maybe there's another possibility. What are you talking about? Impossible. That's impossible. There is no other possibility. I killed Kaito! I killed Kaito! You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito! It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth! But you keep getting in the way! You're so goddamn annoying! It doesn't matter what you say! I'm telling you, this is the truth! I was at the scene! So I know I'm not wrong! I'm sorry I kept quiet till now! I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. It ends here. Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it? Drinking the antidote was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. There's a strong possibility that all of this was done to make Kaito cooperate. Make him cooperate? The swapping trick required the victim and culprit to work together. Kaito's cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway Kaito easily. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. 
in exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. Did Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Brooks would agree to die just to execute their plan. Why would he go that far? I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what! But too bad! Shuichi figured out the truth! Are you sure it's not delusion? Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I died. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. Huh? Why? We're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. No, I'd still kill you all. Don't put Kokichi's words in my mouth. <laughs> but why? You are being so friendly with us. If Monokuma gets it right, then he takes everyone's lives, yeah? But if Monokuma gets it wrong, then he'd have no right to take everyone's lives. And this killing game can't function. Kaito, I believe in you. Hmm? I still think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny.
is the truth of the case. Let's go over the trick that Kokichi and the culprit created together. Last night, Kibo saw Himiko from the window of his lab. She was carrying a black case and heading to the Exocil hangar. When she reached the hangar, she handed the case to someone through the bathroom window. That someone is the culprit of this case. Locked in the bathroom, the culprit had asked Himiko to bring them a certain weapon. A disassembled crossbow from Maki's lab. The culprit was going to use the crossbow to challenge Kokichi to a fight. Some time passed, and Maki made her way to the hangar. She was going to the hangar to kill Kokichi and save the culprit trapped in the bathroom. However, the hangar had an electric barrier preventing her from entering. Fortunately for her, she had an electro hammer to get around the barrier, in a way. She used her electro hammer to disable an exosol and climbed inside. She knew exosols could bypass the barrier, so she got inside one. Around that time, the culprit and Kokichi began their confrontation. While Kokichi was checking up on them, the culprit ambushed him with a crossbow. But the culprit didn't intend to kill Kokichi. They just wanted to disable him. That's why the culprit aimed for Kokichi's right arm. If they really wanted to kill him, they would have shot him in his vitals. Kokichi reeled from the arrow, and the culprit jumped on him immediately. He didn't want Kokichi to have the chance to summon an exosol with a remote. While they were fighting, something happened that caught them both off guard. The shutter of the hangar opened, and an exosol stepped inside. Kokichi was definitely not expecting an exosol to interrupt them. He pulled out his remote in an attempt to control the exosol. But Maki leaped out of the cockpit and shot Kokichi with her crossbow. The arrow hit Kokichi right in the back, and it was no normal arrow. The tip was covered in a lethal poison from my lab called Strike 9 Poison. The poison kills slowly. It seems as if Maki wanted Kokichi to confess before he died. But even with poison in his veins, Kokichi continued to spin his lies. When she had had enough, Maki tried to finish him off with another poisoned arrow. But this time, Maki was the one caught by surprise. To keep Maki from becoming the Black Man, the culprit used their body to shield Kokichi. The culprit's left arm was struck by a poison arrow. Maki remembered that there was an antidote in my lap, and immediately ran off to get it. The Strike 9 poison slowly circulated through their systems, and would soon kill them both. But in that desperate situation, Kokichi thought up a clever lie. He incorporated this unforeseen event into his plan to help him win the killing game. Or should I say, help him defeat Monokuma. That was Kokichi's true objective. It's why he claimed to be the mastermind. 
thinking fast, Kokichi closed the shutter so that Maki could not re-enter the hangar. Thus, Kokichi's final lie was set into motion. When Maki returned with the antidote, she couldn't get back inside the hangar. So she went around to the hangar bathroom and passed the antidote through the window. But after the culprit was given the antidote, Kokichi immediately snatched it. Kokichi drank down all of the antidote while the culprit and Maki watched in horror. Maki must have been panicking, thinking the only antidote was now gone. She believed that the culprit was going to die from her own poisoned arrow. But it was all another one of Kokichi's lies. He had only pretended to drink the antidote. Maki tried desperately to break into the hangar, even slashing the control panel. But she couldn't get the shutter to open again. Defeated, she had no choice but to leave. After Maki had left, Kokichi took out another weapon. An electrobomb capable of disabling communication devices for hours. Kokichi's plan was to use an electrobomb to knock out Monokuma's surveillance cameras. That was why he commissioned Mew to make the bombs in the first place. After detonating an electrobomb, Kokichi coerced the culprit into drinking the antidote. In exchange for the antidote, Kokichi asked the culprit to cooperate with his plan. Kokichi needed to work with the culprit to execute his final lie. Under normal circumstances, the culprit would never have agreed to such a plan. But because the culprit owed him for saving their life, they agreed to Kokichi's request. Ah, uh, request is a generous term. It was more like blackmail. In any case, the two were now working together as accomplices in an insane plan. There was a lot to prepare and not a lot of time. They had to work fast. If Kokichi died from the Strike 9 poison, the whole plan would be ruined. After fabricating the scene in the bathroom, the culprit dragged Kokichi to the hydraulic press. This is how the swipe pattern bloodstain from the bathroom to the press was created. Kokichi, with the support of the culprit, stood in front of the press's control panel. The two of them were finally ready to execute the insane lie. While Kokichi was setting up the video camera near the hydraulic press's control panel, The culprit laid face up inside the press, draping their coat over their shoulders. Then, Kokichi activated the press and the camera's record button at the same time. The hydraulic press came down slowly, all caught on tape for us to see. Normally, the safety function would have triggered but the electrobomb had disabled it. The press got lower and lower, and just as the culprit disappeared from view, Kokichi pressed the force stop button and the camera's pause button simultaneously. The two then switched places and also switched roles. The culprit and the victim. The would-be victim became our culprit and started up the press and camera.
Tokichi had saved the culprit's life because his trick required their cooperation. He wanted to win the killing game, even if it meant dying himself. And so, Kokichi was crushed by the press, and the whole thing was caught on video. The culprit's left sleeve was dangling from the press, making us think he was the victim. Now alone, the culprit collected the video camera and tore the hydraulic press's power cord so that it could never be raised again. This would make it impossible for us to determine the identity of the crushed body. But there was another reason the victim was killed in this way. It obfuscated the cause of death, making the case that much more difficult to solve. This was all part of Kokichi's plan to create a murder not even Monokuma could figure out. With the press to save it, the culprit returned to the bathroom to flush Kokichi's clothes. Finally, they climbed inside of an exosol to hide and waited with bated breath. And here they are now in this trial, pretending to be Kokichi. They're trying to deceive Monokuma in order to defeat the true mastermind. And that's it. That's Kokichi's unidentified culprit trick. The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. I'm right, aren't I? That's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? Really? Is it really, Kaito? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. Man! Shuichi sure loves his crazy deductions! Huh? You're still not gonna admit it? Admit it? But it's wrong. But logically speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. set and that's it. You don't have any evidence, do you? You all think the body was switched when the hydraulic press stopped for a moment. But that's just speculation in the end. No evidence to back it up. So if we reverse our reverse way of thinking, then it's likely I didn't do anything, right? It's totally possible that the body switching never happened and Kaito is dead. Not just possible, it's the actual truth. Well, it's true, there's no proof that the bodies were switched. No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. This emotion I've learned, I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. We have to believe in Shuichi. Well, I don't care either way. But if you guys get it wrong, you'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the result of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone. Right? Then it will be my victory. And that will ruin the entire killing game.
getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Cause I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Uh, can I just say something? I'd like to have one last conversation before we vote. Huh? One last conversation? There's... more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosome? Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Okiji's the one who died. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not! I would never die! All right. Let's pin this down. Who is inside that exit? Hmm? Okay, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Okiji's the death And the culprit is kind of standing right there. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. What? What do you mean, lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the Exosol is... I'm so sorry, everyone. I've deceived you all. Huh? The truth is, after we found the crushed body, I... Saw Kokichi. You saw Kokichi? Yes. He threatened me, told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie about what I saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Hold on! Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. Everyone, please, don't vote for Kaito. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi is in that Exosol. He's the culprit. Hey, Shuichi, I don't know what you're scheming. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're gonna have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? 
I'm not wrong. We can't vote for Kaito! Stop it! That's enough! Huh? It's over. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. There's no way I can let that happen. So, it's fine. Let's end this. K Kaito! So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. Alright, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! It's just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Hey, Monokuma! Let's hurry up and get this vote started! <laughs> well said! Let's get this started, then! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! <laughs> it seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. That's right. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Hey! <laughs> wow! 
What? <laughs> I mean... Hmm. 
Well done. Incomprehensible. this killing game. Could it be... What are you talking about? My bad. my sidekick. Why? Then... Nah. What's that mean? I mean... Got it. Huh? 
Yeah. But... What? Hey! Hey, so... right. My bad. That's wrong. Hey. Kill him. That's nice! Hey! Hey! One rise and shine your sign! With our powers combined, we are the Mario Kart! One. Huh? Remains of a once powerful nature. By the way, right now, you're Hell at yeah! the of an amazing adventure, Showtime. What did you say? One. Hey, um. Two. One. Thank you so Two. much. What was that? of a once powerful nation. Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure, Showtime. One. Oh, well. Two. Hell yeah! of a once powerful Shut up. I won't let you kill him. 
No. You. you? I believe in you. Uh, okay. I'll endure it. <laughs> I... <sighs> okay! Dong, dong, dong! Hey! is possible okay mark your all sorry <laughs> all right Kaito Momota luminary of the stars Okay. Get ready! It's punishment time!
Right? Well... Hey! Eh? Because... Okay! Yeah! Okay. Sorry. What? Uh, um...
You're right. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, and hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Quiet. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. That silence means my will is now my own. Even if despair is all we have to choose, even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I... I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles, is steeped in despair. I will destroy it. Thank <laughs> you. 